In this video, we will discuss how to go about creating drawings of components that have been created through a top-down part creation process within an assembly. I have started a new design file and called it Component Drawing Video. Within that component drawing video assembly process, I've created three separate components, a base, a cylinder, and a cover. In another video on my YouTube channel, I showed how to go about creating drawings of individual components by right-clicking on the component and going to Create Drawing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go about creating one drawing file with multiple sheets in it for one assembly. So we're going to come up to our assembly name up here at the top, and we're going to right-click and go to Create Drawing. And where it says reference, I'm going to choose the full assembly, but the other options that I have are it's something that's to say visible only. And visible only means I can come over and uncheck these eyeballs, and it's only going to make a drawing of what I have visible. I can also come down and go to select, and if I said, you know, only this, it's going to choose what I select, and it's only going to make a drawing of just that component. For the sake of the video, we'll stay in full assembly. If you're taking a class with me, we use our PLTW title block. We're going to go ahead and say OK. Let my drawing load. You can see my title block down here. And you know, within the classes that I teach, that front page of what I really want to see of the assembly is a big isometric view. I want you to show me the isometric view of what you made. So I'm going to go to um, a certain isometric view that I want. I'm going to go to Northeast Isometric. And I'm going to say, you know, just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the object. And I'm just going to say, OK, I'm going to drag this out here into the middle. That's a little too small of what I want. I want people to take up the whole page. So I'm going to change the scale. And, you know, within your scale options, you know, they give you all these ratios. Sometimes you can also put in, you know, I want something that is, let's say, one to one. And that's a little too big. So when I go to one to one, I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to say, give me 80% of its full size. And I put in 0.8. So that's 8 tenths of its normal size. For the sake of this video, I want it to be shaded. And I'm going to go ahead and say close. And I'm going to keep our isometric view right here. You'll notice on the left-hand side, I have base and cylinder and cover on my front page. Now, I'm going to say this is my assembly right here on the front page. Now, let's go to save. And I'm going to call this component drawing video drawing. And I'm going to say save. And you'll see it save right up here at the top. We're going to go to plus down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go to base view. And you're going to see there's our assembly. Now you're going to notice it's going to say model. Yes, I want the whole model. I'm going to go to, you know, a fourth, a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and place that view. And I'm going to say OK. On the left hand side, what I'm going to say is I only want to do a drawing of just the base. So I'm going to uncheck the visibility of that. You know, this for the sake of, you know, placing objects, you know, this is a little too, you know, small. So I'm going to go to point, let's go six tenths of its normal size. Sometimes when I scale things, I like to do that. I'm going to say close. I'm going to go ahead and place them and drag over here to the right. We're going to go to projected view. I'm going to tap on the front view. I'm going to project my view right here. And for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do an ISO. There's our front, top, and side view of just the base. I'm going to go to plus. I'm going to go to base view. I'm going to stay with this, and you know, if I'm going to do of the cylinder of this one. I'm going to go, you know, 0.5 for half the size, and I'm going to go ahead and just place this. Now, obviously, it's going to be too big if I was doing the full assembly, but I know all I'm doing is the cylinder, and I'm going to uncheck those boxes. I'm going to go to project. Go ahead and project. Front and the side view. Now, if we were doing, a, I'm going to, not going to do dimensions, but you know, if we were doing normal dimension work, I'd be placing the center marks and center lines of that object. I'd also be, you know, changing this to color. So it's good to see an isometric view and color of your objects. Notice that it updated the scale down here to a half. I noticed that on my previous drawing, it stayed at a quarter. Um, hopefully, you know, it can stay, it can flip with that. But I put in 0 0.6, 6 tenths, it stayed at a quarter. Maybe I hope that'll update. Maybe that's something I can figure out in another video. We're going to go to plus, go to base view. I'm going to go ahead and place my front view here. I'm going to say, I want, I'm going to say, okay. And I want just the cover, what I called the cover. It's what it will, it's what was in red right here. It's made this little cover shape and I'm going to just the cover. Now I'm going to double click on this and we can say, you know, I actually want the, you know, let's go to 0.6 for six tenths. I don't know. I'm probably going to go to half. I'm going to say close. I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to keep that. Go to projected view, drag up. 
I'm not going to do an ISO just for the sake of this video. And, you know, I see, I notice that I don't have hidden lines going on here. I want hidden lines. So I'm going to turn on my hidden lines and I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Now, notice that we are in a cover right here. We're just going to do just a drawing of the cover. Now, if I go and collapse, excuse me, expand this, I have three bodies in here. Well, what if I just want to do just a drawing of the top of that table? Notice I can take away the bodies if I want. You know, I could do another drawing of this, you know, and fix it. I could also say, you know, I just want to do just this particular body. There's all different kinds of drawings I could do. I could go to plus, replace this, and do just, just specific bodies. Notice that down at the bottom, I have four drawings. I have our assembly. I have the base. I have the cylinder. And I have the cover. If I wanted to print these all as one drawing, like if I was going to print a paper for a class, like if a teacher said, I want you to write me, you know, a six page paper and you printed it out, you would put your six pages together and you would staple it and turn it in or turn it in digitally. In this case, you could actually go in and print out all the sheets. You know, you can go into range and say, you know, in this case, you know, I want one through four and you could print it. You could print it as a PDF, turn it in. You can, you know, print it for real on an actual printer like I have, and that's the way to go about printing these. Instead of printing all these separate documents, you have one drawing file with multiple drawings in it. Very efficient way to go about creating drawings in Fusion 360. So this has been a video for how to go about creating drawings of components that have been created through a top-down modeling process and then creating multiple drawing sheets within the same drawing file in Fusion 360.